G'day guys, welcome back to Steeler Nation Australia. So I just got done doing my podcast with Maddie Peverell on Behind the Steel Curtain and, and uh, Steelers Touchdown Under. Now, it came up an interesting thing and I didn't really think about this at all. And Maddie told me on the podcast, and you guys can go and listen to that on Behind the Steel Curtain if you want to. Uh, it's a good podcast every, every I think Saturday. Yeah, no, sorry, Friday night in America, Saturday morning for me. But what came up was a Buffalo Bills injury report. And I wanted to go through this and just, there could be a chance. Uh, they want me to subscribe, but there could be a chance that the Steelers can win this game based off the Buffalo Bills injury report. Uh, let me show you guys. You can see that. Pretty, yeah, that's a lot better, right? So you have, now look, I don't know a lot of these guys. I'm not going not gonna to claim that I know all these players. Okay, Christian Bedford, don't know who the guy is. But cornerback, he's out. Okay, that's one guy out. Jamison Crowder, receiver. Uh, Friday's practice uh, practice uh, participation did not play. Out. Game set is done. Game, uh, Gabe Davis, another good receiver for the Bills. Uh, he was full practice, but still he's been he's been suffering injury, right? Tremaine Edmonds, middle linebacker, did not play. Questionable. Middle linebacker, Edmonds not playing. Is a good is a good thing for the Steelers. All right. Go, and then there's like about 20 players, and I won't go through all of them, but like there's a few here that I'm like far out. There could be a chance for the Steelers to win this game based off the Bills injuries alone. Now, Dawson Knox, I didn't know that guy. Tight end did not play. Out. Uh Jake Kumaro, I'm not too sure who that guy is, but another receiver. That's two receivers out. Next, we have Cam Lewis. Um Cornerback, he was full practice, so he might be back. Isaiah Lettermilk is another receiver for the Bills. Who is Josh Allen going to throw to, right? Receiver, concussion, he might be out. The Steelers have a concussion with Terrell Edmonds, and I think what the league's doing now, since the whole tour thing, they're going to be very careful with concussions. Could be a chance that the receivers, Crowder, um, Kumaro, McKenzie, all out. So then you only really have Stefan Diggs. <clears throat> we also have Von Miller too, did not practice, right? Going down the list. Ed Oliver, defensive tackle. Uh, he was limited play, questionable with an ankle. Jordan Phillips, another guy up front, another big body up front. Hamstring, limited play, questionable. Jordan Poyer, another big player for the, the Bills defense. Uh, safety, Jordan Poyer has four interceptions. He's out. There are so many players out and Stefan Diggs, did not practice, but that could just be, you know, veteran rest. Anyways, I wanted to go through that list just a little bit because, you know, you're telling me there's a chance. It could be a chance that the Steelers can win this game. The Bills' defense and the Bills' offense is banged up, just like how our Steelers' of, uh, offense and um, uh, our defense is banged up on uh, on injury. It's Kenny Pickett's first start, but it feels like that there could be a level playing field now that – some of the starters, like Jordan Poyer, Knox, are out for the Bills. So, and you don't want to win this way. Of course, you want to play their best team. But in this game, the Steelers are under, underdogs. And if they're going to have all these players out, then it's going to help the Steelers. Anyways, guys, wanted to share with that with that share that with you with the Buffalo Bills injury report. There's about 20 players and about five or six players are out, and some key players like Poyer. So there's a chance for Kenny Pickett. There's a chance for this Pittsburgh Steelers team. Any given Sunday, anything can happen. Anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Have a good uh, rest of your day.